Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 2023 Women's World Cup jersey review. This is part one where I'm trying to attempt to look at all the jerseys from groups A and group B uh, to make a total of four videos. Now, now before we get into it, um, the pictures, I went over the internet and looked for uh, pictures of the jerseys as good as I could. Some of them are stock images, some of them are promotion peak pictures. It's not like I usually have for other previews where I have nice pictures. So it's a little bit wilder here, however, makes it also exciting. All the jerseys are graded on a scale from one being the worst to 10 being the best. And um, we're gonna go more or less group by group. So I start here with group A and then group B. And I would say we'll get started with the first of the hosts, which is New Zealand, where if you look up here, yeah, I used the rugby jersey, but it's the only New Zealand jersey I have in my collection so far. And a little bit surprisingly to me is that New Zealand went for the Women's World Cup with black at home, but what a beautiful kit that is. I already liked the one in 2018 a whole lot. This one is right up there. It's a wonderful kit. Unfortunately for men's sizes, it's at the moment sold out because I would have gotten that just like that. Uh, and what I really love is that it actually starts out, uh, continues the pattern on the back as well with the ferns. That's a winner for me. I'm gonna start. We have a strong stars, uh, uh, start here with nine stars, I would say. Uh, the away jersey is a much more subdued affair. Uh, white is what we would, we would expect from a New Zealand uh, soccer slash football team. However, I was a little bit dumbfounded by the blue accents, which to me don't quite fit it's also uh compared to the home jersey a rather boring one so i honestly i have, have to say for me this is only a four star moving over to a powerhouse of the women's game in norway although a little bit here hitting the skits uh this is where nike and this we will see a lot nike had a good start with new zealand but for most of the teams, the Nike jerseys are rather boring. And I think Norway is one of this. That's just pure template. Yes, red and uh, and a little bit blue and a little bit white is nice. I really love the... Uh, it's now, we had a few seasons, but the Norway crest is really nicely done as well. But this is just so average and boring that I have to say. Uh, this is five uh, star for me. And same goes for the away jersey, which to me is even worse because it kind of reminds me a bit of the 2002 World Cup, which is, I think, the intent here. But those shards coming here, they don't do it for me. Uh, it's not a good jersey. It's definitely worse than the um, home jersey. So I'm going to go four stars with this one. Moving further over, we're looking at the Philippines. Didn't get much better pictures there using a Adidas template. But I have to say the Adidas template is a nice one. I really like the pinstripes here. Uh, the thing is, if you have a blue jersey and then a red pinstripes, you don't see as much uh, of the design. And then you have the bright yellow Adidas logo, which kind of sticks out like a sore thumb because everything else is um, white. But I guess, you know, the Philippines flag has four colors. So in that sense, it makes sense. But I have to say, overall, this is a really nice jersey. And I would give it a uh, seven star. I think we don't need to be too strict here. Uh, moving over to the next one, the away jersey. Again, rather template -y, But this one uh, doesn't do it for me. I think this is also a rather, um, yeah, boring, weird looking attempt. Let's put it that way. Um, I'm going to go uh, with my favorite grade so far, which is four. Uh, and we also have a third jersey, uh, which I think is actually quite nice. It uses the same template as a home jersey, but now it's uh, the red, white with blue accents. And you see here, if you have the white uh, pinstripes, you see it a little bit more. Um, give or take, you know, uh, shift, shifting around a few colors. Maybe the crest in red is also a little bit old. Uh, it's Really love it. it reminds me a bit of a Romania shirt, although it has nothing to do with Romania, but you know, with the yellow in there. Um, I would give this a six. I think straight. This is for me a straight, a straight up six. And we are done with the Philippines. And then lastly, we're going to Switzerland, uh, where for the home jersey, they are using a newly created version, which to me has two great ideas in one shirt and if you use either one of those you have an absolute winner but combining them 
I am not so sure. We have the beautiful mountain landscape and with the shades. I absolutely love this feature. And I think if that was the feature, I think I would, would be all right. We also have a pinstripe effect with uh, little Swiss crosses in there. Also, really, really, really cool. Uh, would be a more traditional look. However, putting them together, I think it looks like a rainy landscape or a snowy land landscape even, uh, which I'm not sure if this is what you want to have. I mean, you want to promote nice summer weather. So, but well, you know, you play in Australia in the winter. So I guess one could say that I really like what Puma is doing here. Um, if you just went with the mountains, I think it's a jersey I would love to have from Switzerland. This way, yeah, I still think this is a very strong effort and it's an eight star. I do not have any reliable information on the away jersey. However, I'm suspecting it's the one from the Men's World Cup where you can see a review uh, up there, which was not a good jersey. Let's face it, uh, the gray with the box was not my favorite at all. Moving over to Group B and we are at the Hosts Australia. Um, and I gotta say, yes, it's template but this swirly pattern on top of there, I actually really like. It's much better than what the men got uh, for the World Cup. So yeah, I can see it. Do I wish it a little bit wilder? Yes, the one at the 2019 World Cup was uh, way up there and it's still a jersey I would love to own. Uh, this one, not so much, but I can get around to it. I actually like the thick green stripes as well. Um, that I think they do, uh, do only a little connect to the so, uh, to the back, but it gives a little bit of shape to the shirt uh, to the shirt as well. Nothing exciting, but it's not a bad shirt. It uses Australian colors. I would go with a seven star here. And then we have the away jersey, which is kind of a, you know, why do Australia now mess up so much with their colors? I mean, I really enjoyed when they had green, then they went for a while with dark blue. Now we have again this uh, coral reefy light blue. Okay, I get it. Uh, coral reefs are a big feature of Australia. So um, more power to you. Again, we have the shards up there. Overall, I think the colors are relatively well put together. Uh, you know, it is very much the sea is in there and probably that's a theme that should go on there. Uh, but yeah, I think the template is letting it down and you could uh, do a little bit more as we will see the, uh, in uh, for other teams that have a sea theme. It looks a little bit better done. It's not a hor horrible shirt, so I'm gonna go six with this one. Ireland, Castori. Uh, that's the first time I think a Calca story is uh, having a jersey at a big international tournament. And the moment I saw this, I think in the Nations League, or was it qualifying? I, I want to say I was Euro qualifying. It is such a gorgeous shirt. Uh, it gives me definitely a late 80s vibe, Adidas vibe. In addition, the crest is all style. And I'm so happy that I'm getting to review this now for the women. Uh, and there are a few jerseys that have been released already for the men and the women where I didn't get to talk about them because the teams didn't qualify for the World Cup last time around. This is an absolute stunning shirt. Straight 10 stars and this is the first Castori shirt that I see where I think I really want to have this one. So yeah, uh, <laughs> we're not going to play around with this. This is a 10 star. It's the best jersey we have seen so far. And the away jersey is not much worse. It's maybe a little bit more boring uh, than the home churches. I, I think you could have added an orange stripe between the green ones to make it a little bit more interesting, but it's still very, very, very pleasing. Don't you agree? But I think it's a step down from, from the home churches and I give this an eight star uh, rating. Uh, Nigeria. Again, very strong World Cup 2002 vibes with the bright green and the white. Um, again, the weird template, which I am not so happy with. I also don't know why the crest needs to be now in red. I know this is how the crest looks. Um, it jars a teeny little bit. However, I love the sleeve cups. This adds a little bit uh, to the jersey, that make it stand out and make me actually forget about the uh, white shards up top. Not an exciting jersey, but I also th I think uh, it has enough little de 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 details to put it uh, just in the upper half of the rating. I would say this is a six star. The away jersey, um, 
It's interesting, but honestly, a little bit subdued. Again, I think this is some um, tribal pattern that they put in there. Again, the crest, not 100%, but I, I actually like it. You have the black in there a little bit. It's also good contrast to the home churches. So they're doing something interesting here. It's, um, it's definitely one of the better Nike jerseys out there. Uh, it's just that I wish maybe the colors to be you know add a little bit more vibrancy in in there when you've seen the nigeria jersey for the men as as of late and this one actually falls a little bit off i still think it's the better one of of the two and i'm gonna give this a seven star and then we end this jersey review uh with canada <sighs> nike why couldn't get the men's team this jersey what's the problem what is the problem? And the men are still not playing in this jersey, which to me is an absolute outrage. But on the positive side, I think I, I absolutely love this jersey. I think when I saw it, and I at the moment I cannot find it any, anywhere, I thought this is the Canada jersey of all. Yes, the crest needs work. Make a new crest Canada. I know this is the least of, of a problem, but this looks so 1980s. It's, hor it's horrific. If you just will put a maple leaf, it's all fine. I put the can candle below. That's all you need to do. Don't make the half soccer ball. It looks awful. But I really like this uh, webbed pattern with the um, maple leaves in there, and you know a little bit more uh, black on, on 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 there. This is creative. I really, really like it. Like it's a standard. It's a jersey that I think definitely many people will talk or talk about them. Some may like and may not like it. I actually fall definitely more on the likes that because it's something that stands out. It's very can can Canadian. We put a maple leaf there and it looks a little bit different. I put this straight in the same category as the New Zealand jersey. For me, this is a nine star shirt. Absolutely lo lo love it. Of the jerseys for this World Cup release, this is one that I really would love to have and the pattern even continues on, on the back. I mean, what can I ask more? The away jersey though, that's what Canada usually gets, a template. Boring. I'm gonna go even because it's so boring, I'm gonna go with a three star rating here. Please let me know which jerseys in there are to your liking and which ones do you not uh, like so, so much. And also do you agree with, with, with my ratings? Also, are there any jerseys in there that you would like to have anything? Give me some thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.